You will have previously met exponential curves like y is equal to 2 to the x or y is equal to 3 to the x, for example. Okay? And you should have already met these and know what they look like. So to recap that, y is equal to 2 to the x, if we draw our x, y axes. y equals 2 to the x starts off very close to the x axis on the left hand side because when x is large and negative, 2 to the x is going to be very small. And so as we approach the y axis, it increases. And then past the y axis, it increases very quickly. When x is 0, we would have 2 to the 0, and so it must pass through the coordinate 0, 1. So this would be y is equal to 2 to the x. If we were looking at y is equal to 3 to the x, then y is equal to 3 to the x would be smaller when it is to the left of the y-axis than 2 to the x. But as it passes the y-axis, it will increase faster because when x is 1, we'll have 2 and 3. When x is 2, we'll have 4 and 9, and so on. And so it increases more quickly. And we'll go through 0 and 1 in much the same way as y is equal to 2 to the x did. So these curves look similar, but y is equal to 3 to the x uh, increases faster than y is equal to 2 to the x. So this is what an exponential curve is like. And in the next video, we're going to be looking at how that relates to what we're going to be doing in this chapter.